End Zone with 27 Sports Director Carly Murata and the 27 Sports Team. Your Friday night high school football breakdown starts now. Welcome in to week three of the End Zone. I'm Luke Gamble alongside Pablo Iglesias, who's subbing in for Carly tonight. And to answer your question, no, we did not plan to dress nearly identical to one another. Looks pretty sharp, though. I like it. I like <laughs> I think what it we got going okay, on here. We're kind of like the Spider-Man meme, <laughs> so we can try to do that later. <laughs> we got that out of the way. It's time for some football, and boy, do we have some huge matchups. The Badger Conference kicking things off tonight. That's right, Luke. Sun Prairie East playing at Wanakee. The Warriors rank second, and the Cardinals eighth in Division Two. Let's head on over there. Why don't we take it, Luke? Wanaki looking to keep their undefeated record alive. Warriors up 10-0 in the second. Handoff to Benjamin Lindley. Cuts hard right. Scampers up the line. A 24-yard gain. He'll get the ball right back. Hits the gap for the score. Wanaki 17. Sun Prairie East 0. Warriors again. Vance Johnson this time hitting David Emmerich. Turns on the Jets. And it's a block party as he cuts left. Cuts right. Takes things 63 yards into the red zone. Just two plays later, the Warriors punch it in for another score, and the Warriors win it with a shutout, 3-1-0. Also in the Badger Conference, Milton is playing at Oregon. Both teams 1-1 one and one to kick off the season. We start things off with Oregon in the second half, trailing 21-6, but the Panthers coming out flying. Cole Kruger finds Devin Rice and makes some moves, then gets to the 20-yard line to pick up the first down and move in the chains. That sets up, by the way, the coolest name, Maximus Matthews, punching it in to the goal line drive to get Oregon within eight with plenty of time left for a comeback. Go to fourth quarter now. Oregon threatening to tie in Red Hawk territory, but Milton's Aiden Sullivan picks up the interception for the huge stop. Milton surviving in a game where if you combine this score, it is Luke's handicap after nine. They steal the close one at 28-27. All right, moving to the Badger Small Conference. Monona Grove playing at Stoughton. Monona Grove wasting no time after receiving the kickoff. Cal Moreau finds Joseph Otto Morton for the touchdown. Automatic. The Silver Eagles weren't satisfied though on the PAT. Zach Cadigan pulls off the fake extra point. Woo. Jesus Garcia wide open there for the two point conversion. Silver Eagles up 8 0 early to the second. The dynamic duo back at it again. Moro to Otto Morton for the 34 yard completion. Monona Grove wins it 49 14. All right, now we're going to head over to the Big 8 Conference. Middleton with a hot start. They're ranked third in Division I right now. And the Cardinals looking to stay undefeated with La Follette, hoping to spoil that streak. The Lancers still looking for their first win on the season, hoping to protect some home turf. The ball bouncing their way in the first, quite literally. On the punt, it pops over the Cardinals' head, and Jadil Guerrero Bastardo is all over it, but no dice on offense. Here comes Gabe Passini, passing it all over this defense, dialing up the launch codes on fourth and 15. Making it look easy. 31 yard bomb for the TD. Pass Passini using the wells, ju wills just as well. Can't find anything downfield, so he takes it himself for the score. The Cardinals blank the Lancers in this one 48 0. Why don't we stay in the big eights? Janesville Craig playing at Madison West. Janesville Craig up 60 0 after recess. Paul Platts hitting Dylan Tyler, and he gets knocked, and it's recovered by the Regents. Dijon Steel, baby. Redemption time for Tyler, though, who takes the Wildcat snap. He cuts left, runs by the Regents for the score. Janesville Craig up 23 nil. Now, with time ticking down in the third, Paul Platts chunks it up. The camera loses it, but at some point, don't worry, we catch it. Levi Booker, who had major separation, 56 yard score to close out the third. JC wins this one 32 7. All right, that's the first half of the end zone, but coming up next, we go to our game of the week one that did not disappoint. 